Welcome back to the vlog, you guys. Today is Sunday. I am in the parking lot at the grocery store about to run in and get a few groceries just for like Monday and Tuesday because I find if I buy things for five days, then my food ends up going bad and I don't eat it all. So I'm just gonna get probably for, it's so hot in here, <sighs> probably for Monday and Tuesday. Um, it's almost 70 degrees out It and I'm wearing black, so it's pretty hot. I also thought I would share in this vlog a few habits that I'm ditching for the new year. So I'm gonna be sharing five habits that I'm not taking into 2021 with you guys. These are things that I like wanna work on and I just thought I would share them with you guys. So if you want to skip to that portion of the video, I'll put the timestamp right here and you can go here to see those habits. But we are gonna run into the grocery store. I'm gonna make a quick list on my phone of everything that I need and then we'll head in. out of my everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's but I just found a similar one here so we'll try it out and see if it's good. I also got Lauren one because she's out as well so I'll take that to her later. Two of my favorite teas are lemon balm and Moroccan mint but I can't find oh this is one. I'm gonna get one of those as well. a protein bar and I accidentally left it in the trunk but these protein bars these are power crunch bars I used to eat these all the time and I just dropped it oh, one um, this is the chocolate mint one I'll just like pick them up at the store if I'm ever like really hungry and that is like right now they're really good but they're kind of like a treat they're definitely super chocolatey <laughs> <clears throat> I just got um, a few things for like Monday and Tuesday for breakfast and lunch. I really should have gone by the car wash because my car is disgusting. I didn't even think about it. Yeah, okay. Love you. Bye. Bye. I just got off the phone with Muhammad. He's on the way to the gym. He works out at Lifetime now. And I've always wanted to join that gym, but it's really expensive. I think it's like $90 a month or something, but what he ended up doing was he got a family membership and he had like a bunch of his friends join onto the family membership, which they didn't really care. It didn't have to be anyone with like the same last name as him. And um, it was just a bunch of his friends who wanted to also work out there and they all got it for like $35 a month. So it's great. Like Lifetime is like such a nice gym. I've only been there one time, but it was very nice. But I'm going to go inside and... um Get these groceries in the fridge okay i thought we could do a quick little grocery haul i didn't get that many things just things for breakfast lunch and then some fruit um i have i'm gonna stop by another grocery store tomorrow and get some salmon and then i have um some other things so i got some almond milk um for smoothies i got some raspberries for oatmeal I got these everything bagels because my sister Lena has been eating these and I um, told you guys in my last vlog how like I have been eating these. I finished an entire thing. Well, there's only four bagels in here. So if I have one like every morning, then it's only four days. Then I got some avocados, which I don't usually use this much plastic, but with COVID, I have been using more plastic. Then I got some um, organic blueberries, frozen blueberries for smoothies. I got some organic turkey for um, wraps because I'm gonna make some turkey wraps for lunch this week. Then I got this everything bagel seasoning that I um, showed you guys when I was at the store, which makes me so excited because I didn't expect them to have that. And now that I live like two hours from a Trader Joe's, it's hard to get that seasoning. Then I got some spinach for smoothies and turkey wraps. Two of my favorite teas, the lemon balm and the Moroccan mint. I drink a tea every single night, so I go through those pretty quickly. Then I got some bananas. Um, I got some that weren't, that were like already pretty 
like getting some spots because I'm gonna freeze them for smoothies. And then I got some cucumbers for turkey wraps. I love putting like a ton of vegetables in turkey wraps. And then I got um, these medjool date balls. These are the coconut. They're, it's just um, dates and then they're rolled in shredded coconut, but they're so good. I got two of those. I stopped buying like chicken, salmon, like a lot of protein on Sundays because I don't really know what I'm gonna eat that. So I'll just buy it like the day of or the day before if I like, wanna cook it. So my next project is figuring out my nightstands. I want to organize the inside of them and then I need to get a lamp, which I've been looking for some and I found some on Target that I really liked, but they were sold out. I don't really want to get an expensive lamp or lamps. And then I want to do the mirrors on both sides. I want both sides. I want to do rectangular mirrors with black uh, trim, but these are storage boxes for the nightstands. I got some for my side and the other side because I, now that I have drawers, I've been putting things in my nightstands, but they just kind of all like roll around. So I wanted to organize them. There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? two sets but I think I'm only going to use one. I'll return the other one because I was able to split them between both nightstands. Let me show you guys what I've got in here. A few of these things you guys might think I'm a little crazy but this is if you live alone you will totally understand. So I keep my keys, my car keys in here. Uh, when I sleep I just like to keep them by my bed so I know where they are. Then I keep some pepper spray <laughs> and I have my glasses and then I've got an external lock. This is just like a portable lock. I had this in my old apartment. I showed you guys. Um, I got it off Amazon. I'll link it down below, but it's great if you take it while you're traveling to hotels or if you just want like something extra to make you feel safe. Um, I will link it down below. Then I've got some hand lotion. This is the Caudalie hand cream and ever since I started using more hand sanitizer, washing my hands more, my hands are so dry. So I got this one and I cannot like, I can't really recommend this one. It smells amazing, it kind of smells like grapefruit, but it doesn't really moisturize your hands. So I really want to get the Biosance one because my mom has it and it's amazing. So planning on getting that. Then I've got a clip, I've got some lip balm. Then over here, I've got my CBD, which I haven't showed you guys this, but I've talked about it. This is the CBD brand that I use, um, and I have a discount code, so I'll leave it down below. Then I've got some melatonin. Then I've got my vitamins. Um, I just keep them in my <laughs> in my nightstand now so that I remember to take them. Um, these are the Ritual um, Multivitamins for Women. Then on the other side, in the other nightstand, um, I just have one thing, which it's the Ritual Essential uh, Multivitamin for Men. And these are Muhammad's. He has one here for when he comes and stays. And when he comes, he can like leave whatever he needs in this nightstand. Now he has a few little organizers. This portion of the video is sponsored by Ritual. And I wanted to tell you guys, I know it might be weird to think about keeping multivitamins in your nightstand. And I never used to because I would can't take multivitamins on an empty stomach but ritual is a no nausea capsule and they have a mint tab in every uh, bottle to keep it fresh so i do not get sick when i take these it's just two capsules every day which makes it super easy to remember and then i can just take it in the morning because it's right there in my nightstand i also wanted to mention they are a vegan capsule 
vegetable and they're non-gmo allergen free gluten free um, and sugar free i have the multivitamin 18 plus for women muhammad has the 18 plus for men and they also have 50 plus for men and women and then prenatal as well so i will leave a link in the description box if you guys want to check it out you guys can also get 10 percent off during your first three months if you go to ritual.com slash assad i will leave the link in the description box i took um I ended up taking one of my little coasters from my living room and putting it here. But let me know what you guys think about the rectangular mirror, lamps on both sides. And then I have a little cubby hole here. So I'll be decorating this, but just need to order that. I feel like I, this apartment's going to be like a nonstop project of me just ordering things. I wanted to share the five habits. Five habits I'm ditching in 2021 and these were things that i just kind of thought that i wanted to improve on and i wanted to share them with you guys because some of you might think like oh i want to improve on those as well or you might want to like come up with your own habits from 2020 that you want to like leave in that year and just to do away with so number one Personally, for me, I want to stop using filler words. I have a very bad habit of saying like, um, and I don't know. And I realized that going back and editing vlogs that I use those words very frequently. I try to like edit those filler words out when I can because I know it's so annoying to listen to. I don't know if it's like just myself, but <clears throat> I think it's so annoying. And even when I had my corporate job, I my manager told me a lot that I used filler words and would be explaining things. And then every five seconds be like, I don't know, da 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 da. And I don't know, like da 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 da. And it's just such a bad habit. So I'm gonna try my best to stop using those the second bad habit that I am ditching in 2021 is procrastination but not necessarily on things that you would think of it's mainly become adulting things like maybe filling out forms or returns or taking care of my car you guys I have had a low beam light out in my car for probably a month now um, and I need to go get it there goes a filler word <laughs> See, there goes a the filler word. But anyways, I need to get that fixed and just little things like running errands or returning things. Like I'm so bad about those. And if I just could get it done without procrastinating, just those little like errands or little things you need to do that don't take that much time, but you put them off forever until you do them. I'm going to try to get better on procrastinating with those things. The third habit I want to ditch is spending so much time on my phone. I really want to decrease my screen time. I just have a really bad habit of picking up my phone when I'm not doing anything, scrolling. Sometimes I, I mindlessly scroll and it's so bad because half the time I'm not even interested in anything. It's just a habit of like scrolling and scrolling. Number four, this kind of like goes with number three. I want to not get on my phone before bed and not get on my phone um, as soon as I get up. So I want to stop getting on my phone first thing before bed and first thing in the morning. I have a really bad habit of just grabbing my phone because it's close to me and getting on it and just mindlessly scrolling again or checking my emails and my brain is just not ready to do any of those things, but it's just a habit of getting on my phone that I really need to stop. The last bad habit I want to leave in 2020 is putting too much on my plate, putting too much on my to-do list. Physically, I write too much down to do in one day and there's not enough hours in the day. There's not enough sunlight, especially right now. It's really frustrating being a content creator. I have to get everything done before the sun goes down and I'm just like racing with time and I need to not do that to myself this year. I really just want to be practical about what I'm putting on my to-do list and consider time when I'm putting those things down, like how much time it's going to take to do something. And that's something you guys should, you know, think about as well when you're making your to-do list for the day. Just kind of keep in mind, like, is it actually practical for me to get all of these things done? So at the end of the day, I'm not like disappointed in myself for not getting more things done. So those are the five bad habits I am leaving in 2020. Comment down below if you guys have any habits that you're going to try to leave in 2020 and not bring into 2021. I also wanted to just make sure I document them here um, to share with you guys, but also just for myself to keep them in mind. So yeah, I am now going to call Lauren and see what she's up to. She's been cleaning her room today but we thought we might go do something if we both got our stuff done and so i'm gonna call her and see what she's up to hey what are you doing 
I'm editing a video. Oh, okay. I am just. Wait, this is Amanda, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. You have to like, think for a second. Oh. <laughs> um, um, I am. Uh, well, I just went to the grocery store, and uh, I'm, I need to clean out my fridge, and um, that's pretty much it. But oh, I found the everything uh, but the bagel seasoning at Sprouts. Really? Yeah. Nice. We don't have to okay. do anything today. I'll just see you tonight when I come over. Um, yeah. I guess I'd rather I need to, like, finish this. Yeah, that's fine. I look like crap anyways. <laughs> I guess I'll see you later tonight. Okay, sounds good. Okay, bye. Alright, bye. Alexa, play popular music. The playlist all hits on Amazon Music. and just change out of this bodysuit. Actually, you guys, I haven't told you about this bodysuit. This is an Abercrombie bodysuit. It is, I have it in black and white, and it's so good. Like, I can't rave about this bodysuit enough. It's so comfortable, it is not see-through. It always depends on what bra you wear underneath your bodysuits, but I have the white one, and my nude bra does not show through. I have the black, it's very comfortable. But anyways, I'm about to change out of it because I'm going to go to my parents' house for dinner, and my tripod's falling, which is a box of toilet paper, so let's find something better. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna change because I don't really wanna wear, I just wanna put a t-shirt on, I'm gonna take my makeup off, and about it so where is my face wash probably in my shower oh i haven't showed you guys i got a new shower organizer i don't know if i should i did show you all my last one and it kept falling off like it fell off in the middle of the night like three probably twice twice and it freaked me out because all of my like shampoo bottles and everything just went tumbling down there's my little tripod back there but uh let me show you what it looks like now here it is, it's held up very well. I really like it, I like it better than the other one, so I'll link this down below if you guys need one. I'm gonna use one of these facial radiance pads. These are from First Aid Beauty. I think Lauren gave me these, she had them. They're so good. I just love like little peel pads like this. Um, they're good to use, I guess, like in the morning, but I haven't used these in a while, so I'm just gonna use them. I just got home. I think my mom is pulling up behind me. She just got back from the grocery store. Might be my mom. Let me see. Yes, it is. I'm so late! That's okay. I'll come help you. Let me put this inside. TV for a little bit. I almost fell asleep on the couch. And my dad is watching TikTok. I just got home and I changed. I'm actually wearing one of Muhammad's shirts. I've stolen probably like four of his t-shirts because they're just so 
so comfortable to sleep in. Um, I was watching Lauren's vlog she just posted from this weekend. If you guys don't follow my sister Lauren, she um, stopped vlogging for a while, but she picked it back up. I'll link one of her videos down below if you guys want to check her out. But yeah, I'm really tired and I love that I have like my nightstand set up so that I can just do all my little things here. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna get in bed. I literally build a fort <laughs> when I sleep at night. I have two pillows on each side of me and um, like so many pillows over here so I can just like nuzzle in this little corner. I don't know how I'm gonna like sleep with my husband. I'm gonna have to have a king size bed because I'm not a cuddler at night. I like to have my own space. Um, I can cuddle and then I wanna just roll over and like don't touch me like I need my space. Comment down below if you're like that because I definitely am. I'm gonna call Muhammad. It's 10.30 right now. He just texted me and said, are you in bed? So gonna call him and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!